Separating the truth and the lies, coming at you from underneath the Noonan, Georgia, heavily chemtrailed and simulated sky. You're about to receive the shock treatment. Take a look at this, huh? All over the world, disasters, natural disasters, man-made disasters are on the rise. A lot of this really, when you think about it, is man-made disasters. Nothing natural about what we're seeing up in the skies, the chemtrailing. And this, uh, it's causing just uh, what Dane Wigginton of geoengineeringwatch.org would say, weather whiplash. The weather whiplash from chemtrailing the skies. And don't forget, they got HARP technology, they got the cell towers rolling out all over the place to a little extra zap zap in the atmosphere and perhaps zap zap the crowd, you know, uh, crowd control with the 5G. They're laying the fiber optics down and I know there are certain people that uh, work for at and and think that they know it all, but the fact of the matter is fiber optics is the backbone of 5G that's rolling out that's going to radiate the living daylights out of everybody if you uh, haven't heard using millimeter waves. But you take a look at this all around the world, you got winds picking up speed, you got micro bursts, you got um, what do they say in the weather? They call it a bombogenesis and I don't know, hurricane, hurricane bomb. Uh, they they want to say that there's a, a, a jet, what is it, a, a river, atmospheric river now, huh? An atmospheric river. You got semis being toppled by winds. I mean, these are things that we haven't uh, seen uh, uh, years gone by. I mean, this, it's getting ramped up. But you take a look at the uh, the, the uh, popcorn clouds, the chem clouds. Is that what the Weather Channel call that? What well, they call that a what do they call that a pipe cloud? <laughs> and you know the people think that this is normal. They look at it because they're so conditioned, they're so freaking conditioned to uh, you know believe in everything, and they're looking at the cell phone, and they're uh, you know looking down a lot, and then when they look up there, they think that all that is normal because they don't have a memory like they used to at all at all they don't have a memory and they have an attention span of a goldfish and this is all done by design so you're looking at some crazy creepy scenes there folks crazy creepy scenes you got this viking uh what is it the uh, uh cruise i believe it is hitting some turbulent waters furniture going everywhere it's not even safe to take a cruise now uh, airplanes are, are actually microwave ovens so if you're flying in congratulations you're radiating yourself and we have a friend who had the C word that rhymes with answer, um, perish at 62, and she flew a lot. So you connect the dots, folks. That's what all this really is about, connecting the dots, strange signs, strange scenes, you see. And the Bible says in last times, we're going to be seeing fearful things up in the, you know, uh, coming upon the earth that men's hearts will fail them. We'll see crazy things. I mean, they're trying to uh, breathe life into uh uh, robots, you know, and, and and mix the DNA with them. This is all satanic, all the occult, and what they're doing with the weather is occult. It's all satanic agenda. It's depopulation. It's weather warfare. It's weather control. And uh, and the thing is, people are really still asleep at the wheel. I mean, we got some people waking up to what they're doing with the geoengineering. And as a result, uh, Harvard comes out and says, oh yeah, we're gonna do solar radiation management. We're gonna spray everything with sulfur dioxide. How do you like that? Add that to your menu of vaccinations and big pharma side effects and your GMOs and your processed foods and your contaminated crap to tap water with fluoride, chlorine, and all the drugs that they people flush down these pill heads and that they can't, they, they can't or probably don't wanna filter out at the water, put in quote, treatment plants. And, and roaches everywhere in a, or bugs I should say, I'm not sure what they are, but they're crawling all over this church and these people think that this is okay. I guess the sermon was so wonderful, whatever it was the message, that they just couldn't help but uh, pay attention and totally ignore this. It's not normal what we're seeing, folks. We're seeing no regard, bow regard, dangerous drivers on the road. They're parking crooked like it's happy hour over at uh, the Kroger Shopping Center over here and, and other places too. And uh, doing stupid things in the gym. It's the dummying down of America. That's what we got, folks. The dummying down of America. Did you hear it? Uh, the IQ po points of uh, this generation's dropped about eight. Eight. I think that's a conservative number. I think it's higher than that. And when you see these things getting kicked up, the, uh, the ramped up, the uh, the, the the weather um, biosphere collapsing, bees and and insects about 80% eradicated, 40% of the animal kingdom wiped out in the last 40 years. 
Uh, we're on the decline with the life expectancy in the U.S. Deagle.com predicts by the year 2025 that 225 plus million Americans will no longer be here. And when you connect the dots and you see the geoengineering, you see the climate uh, uh, warfare, climate uh, control, the, the uh, weather warfare waged on everyone. And the poisonous food and the uh, water, the crap to tap. I mean, they got plastic bottles with BPA in them to uh, cause the C words that rhyme would answer. You know what I'm talking about. Don't make me say it. And it's like uh, dodging landmines out there, isn't it? It's like dodging landmines. It's like, uh, I don't know, playing hopscotch. You got to dodge the landmine. Don't land on it. Don't land on it. Oops, you landed on GMOs. Oops, you landed on vaccines. Oops, you landed on Candida auris. You heard of that one? Candida auris. Look that one up. It's a superbug, a deadly fungal superbug that no um, um, antibiotic is, uh, uh, it works against it. And uh, just how is this uh, fungus uh, getting around worldwide, huh? I have my suspicions. I have my suspicions of this fungus that has about upwards of 20, anywhere between 20 to 50% kill rate. Uh, could it be Geo? I wonder. I wonder. Geo, I wonder. Are they spraying it in the chemtrails aside from the aluminum, strontium, barium, uh, pl- polymers, and, uh, you know, plastic sh- uh, shaft and plastic polymers that everyone's breathing in? Are they? Are, are, is that what they're doing? Who knows? I mean, uh, as long as people think those are contrails, they could put whatever the heck they want in there. They could put vaccines in there, forced vaccinations, if you don't want to take your needle and be like a good little sheeple. They could spray you like a roach, whatever they want to spray you with, because they're in control and you're not. Because you're asleep at the wheel and silence is consent. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely insane what's going on. So this all ties into one thing. You better wake up, or actually a couple of things, and you better get your soul right with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. If you're not, we have one person at the gym that I talked to the other day. Totally says, no God, no God. I'll never, never believe in God. Never, ever. I said, you will once you pass on. Oh, no, no. We just, uh, we just, uh, our memory goes blank. Uh, we just, we go, we go to sleep. Everything turns black or whatever. And I said to him, he says, do you, do you remember uh, your life before you were born? Oh, I got a question. Does he remember what he ate for uh, breakfast last Wednesday? Probably not. So who's to say? Who's to say uh, what you remember? All right? So, uh one man show here folks but who's to say who's to say and uh that doesn't say that there's you weren't alive before uh uh you were born just because you don't remember it i mean god might have a reason for that if you were born and remembered before you were born you'd be able to tell everything about heaven you ever think of that you'd be able to tell them everything that you've seen everything that you've you know witnessed uh before you were actually born into this world take a look at this crazy stuff that we're seeing here what is going on what's the frequency kenneth so it doesn't matter about uh, beforehand. You probably, because you'd be reporting everything. Does God want you telling him, revealing everything? No, he wouldn't want you doing that. So he, he wipes out your memory. You know, they say he's going to wipe out part of our memory, uh, if not all, when we get to heaven. I mean, we're not going to remember. I mean, the, I get conflicting things, but part of it, you're not going to remember the bad stuff. Let's just put it that way. He's going to wipe every tear away and, and, uh, and, and give you joy like never before, right? But you could get it right now. You could get the salvation right now. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Tell him you understand and believe he died for your sins on the cross, that he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man, and that he's your Lord and Savior. And ask him to forgive you of your sins and accept him, accept you into the kingdom. And he will. He will. He will. He he gave me a good report today. I mean, yeah, I have an infection, and I had to go to Big Pharma, which I didn't want to, but uh, I got an antibiotic, and we'll get the prescription fulfilled. And filled i should say and uh my blood work great great report and i was uh you know a little hesitant a little leery about what, what the report is i mean it should have been great i mean i've been doing everything good great uh whip myself into shape but i gotta give god the, i gotta give him the glory he gave me a good report he's shown me today that i am fine through this infection overall my body my blood everything is great and i am on the way to healing so i give god the glory for that and i suggest you Give God the glory for your uh, life if you're saved. If you're not, you should get saved. All right? Don't wait for your last breath on terra firma. Your last breath on earth is your first breath, whether up or down in eternity. Choose whom you may serve. Which master? Is it Satan or is it God? Click the link below from God Rules. There's a lot of more where that came from. Until next time, you receive the shock treatment.